Hello everybody, my name is Aaron and today we're going to show you how to delete a CD drive that is on your USB key. These two partitions are on the same USB key. We're going to show you how to delete the CD drive and uh, make it a usable USB key. Also, we're going to show you how to remake or make a CD drive onto the USB key as well. So what you're going to need is an SM32X test program. I have a link in the description to download this. You can download it, unzip. In the unzip, you'll get this. We want to right click, run as administrator. Program will not work for every single USB key, but it works for a large majority of different flavors of USB key. It's going to load up this guy right here. Unplug all USB keys you do not to want to wreck. We're going to hit scan USB. Take a second, it'll scan it. Found the one that we have, which is eight gigabytes. Now we're going to Go to settings. Password is 320. Don't know why there's a password on here. It's going to ask us to load uh, an INI file in the directory that it automatically opens for you. There's a default.ini, which is just the default settings. Here you can see that I've already gone ahead and tested a few things. So I'm going to uncheck what I've tested. But you can just format this directly to uh, FAT32 uh, in this main spot in this uh, multi LUN tab you can change to mode A right here so we want to check the security box and then mode A and specify how big of a partition you want so we know our thing is 8 gigabytes so I'm going to put 8,000 uh, we don't have any force injected files or anything or preloading. That's going to load a bunch of files on there if you want to do that. This utility is fairly extensive. So I'm going to hit OK, which is going to save to the INI. Then we're going to hit Start. It's going to erase everything. Do you want to continue? Absolutely. And it's showing us our time down here in the bottom corner. And it'll basically chug through. There we go. We're getting near the end now. Format fail, what? So we did get a format fail, but that's because uh, we didn't actually have eight gigabytes. We had a little bit less, but it still partitioned the USB key. I had to unplug it and plug it back in. And right here, I can create files on this new USB key and the CD drive portion of it is gone. So that is how you do it, folks. You use the SM32X test program. Remember, the password is 320, all that in description. If you want to see how to make a ISO on the USB key, I'm going to show that right now. Hello, everybody. My name is Aaron. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a CD drive with a USB key. So what we need first is an ISO that we can burn to the USB key to make it look like a CD. So we need a program called Image Burn, IMG Burn, uh, links in the description. So we're going to click this uh, Create Image from File. We're going to drag and drop everything we want into there. I even have an auto run.inf. There it is. We're going to hit Build. Now I've already done this. I have an ISO right there on screen. So hit Build. It takes a second to build it. Then you're good to go. Now we're going to open a program called SM32X Test. All right, you can download this, links in the description. This is the uh, manufacturer's program that they use to get USB keys to do funny stuff. So this program will not work for every single USB key, but it works for a large majority of different flavors of USB key. So we're gonna right click run as administrator after you've unzipped it from the download. Now unplug every USB key you don't wanna trash. So we're gonna hit scan. It's going to bring up all the USB keys we have. I have an 8 gigabyte one right here. We're going to click Settings. The password is 320. Don't know why there is one there, but the password is 320 in the description as well. It's going to ask us to load a default settings.ini file. We're going to right there at the bottom. All right. Loads up. These are our settings. Now, I've already tested this ahead of time, so I've already got my um, CD ready to go. So you check this box that says make auto run and you point it to the directory of where your CD is located where your ISO is located mine's in that directory 
Now, if you want another partition alongside of your CD drive, you can go to uh, this multi-lung setting tab. And you can go down to here where it says check disk support and then hit that one make public a public size now you want to guess this right or else it might error you want to make sure it's a little bit less than what your usb key total is minus your cd size so i'm going to go uh, 6.5 that's pretty safe 6.5 gigs or 6500 megs i'm going to hit ok it's going to check the settings and i'm going to hit start yes we want to erase it all here it goes chug 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 it's going to take a few minutes um, when it's done we're going to test the auto run function now i'm in windows 10 and my understanding windows 10 disabled auto run i have not been successfully able to get auto run to work on this computer no matter how many times i reprogram the auto run.inf so google some auto run stuff i haven't been able to get it to work but um, i have confidence in you this software that we're using is free. The image burn is free. Now, theoretically, when I plug in the key, it should immediately load this software because this is what I'm writing to the CD portion of it. Boom, we get the big OK. So I'm going to unplug, plug it back in. And what do we get? We get nothing. No auto run, nothing. There's our CD the auto run on it but it's not auto running and here's our second partition so you've been able to make a CD portion this is locked I can't do anything I can't delete I can't do anything like that so if you're looking to lock the stuff the files in there you you can definitely use this method there's another method where you can use a piece of software um, to lock the USB key that piece of software is called uh, USB write protect and you have to run it as administrator and all you do is hit that enable button and it will uh, make it so you so that everything on the USB key portion is locked so you don't have to use this CD portion if you're just looking to get locked data thank you for watching if you want to see more hit the channel see you guys next time ciao